First of all, are you aware of where your fire exits are? I mean, I can't help you with that. I don't know the layout of your house or squat or train or whatever it is you're watching this on. Uh, but welcome along to Yap Factor. It's lovely to have you here. Uh, right, this is Jade Ellis. This is our new blender. If you were watching last week, uh, this is what we do. Uh, we, we blend uh, whichever X Factor contestant crashes out each week. We blend them in this jug just as a way of sort of saying goodbye on a very permanent uh, level. Uh, just to make sure they don't come back. Lucy Spragan, though. Lucy, Lucy, are you OK? I don't know. Uh, here she is. She's not looking well. Has she grown a goatee? What happened there? <laughs> It's a bit early for November, Lucy, and you've slipped a bit. And also that gap tooth, that little snaggle tooth's got a bit bigger, I think. Have people, who's been cruel to Lucy? Who did you monsters? Hello, it's the Reverend, it's the Reverend Lionel Crapping here. Is it, can you hear me? Oh, very good. Um, of course, we're here to say goodbye to Jade. Very sad, but uh, first of all, a little Bible study, I think. Um, would you all please turn to pa uh, Psalms? 16 verse 11. Uh, Psalm 16 verse 11, of course, tells us, In your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand there are pleasures forever. <laughs> now, what is God saying there? I think he's saying that he's given you everything you need in life to enjoy yourself. So go ahead. Just don't do it on the train. <laughs> God may be infinite in his mercy, but ticket inspectors on the East Coast main line take a very dim view, I find. <laughs> anyway, it's time to say goodbye to Jade. Oh, Jade, oh, Jade, oh, Jade, oh, Jade. When from your ivory tower block you strayed <laughs> with winning smile and hair parquet. Well, would we see that sweet smile fade? The music played, your serenade was the sound for which we prayed. And that is why we're all dismayed. All our hopes have been betrayed by teenage girls who can't get laid. <laughs> all District 3 and Union Jade with privates fizzing like lemonade. <laughs> Thy will, it seems, must be obeyed. You twits. Amen. Right, well, let's, let's do this now. Let me see if I can get the, uh, thank you, God bless you. There's, there's the blender. Let's see what happens. Always fun. <laughs> Should we go head first this time, perhaps? Perhaps that would work a little better. There she is. <laughs> Hello there. Right, let's put the goggles on. And three, two, one. She's in heaven! <laughs> oh dear. Just the stump remains. Oh dear, looks like she's taken up smoking. Uh, there's, there's the head now. Oopsie, that's an eyeball, I think. And she's fused with the... It's always the hair, I find. Not that I want to give you tips for how to blend a human, but... Uh, I've done a lot of it now. But there she is! Now that's a rad new hairstyle! Hello! One of the things that we have that's a, f a fun thing to do at home, um, if you haven't got any actual friends, which I don't, um, <clears throat> is to go on to yapfactor.com and there's a thing where you can work out your own tragic backstory. A little bit later on we're going to have Timmy, Timmy Crumble's sad backstory, but uh, you can figure out your own. Uh, you take the last four digits of your mobile phone number and then you just apply it uh, to the columns uh, and you can work out what your sad backstory is. Uh, it's a lot of fun and, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's the, everyone's talking about it. This thing's a bit crap, but they're talking about it and that's the important <laughs> thing. Uh, Kane Milner says, uh, ha ha, he's done his backstory on yapfactor.com. Uh, I'm a rich Irish gorgeous singer who will crack America. <sighs> crack it in two with those smoking biceps. Uh, thank you very much. Ke that's not, is that really him? Is that you? Send us another picture if that's really you, Kane, because... Well, I'd like to see more. Uh, Connor says, uh, I am a ghetto camp shelf stacker, uh, signer, singer. Come on, what's wrong with you people? Can you not type basic English? Signer who plays their own instrument. Whose plays, whose plays? Do you call yourself con nom nom? Because that's the only sound that comes out of your mouth if your speech reflects your typing. Well, I'm sorry. But there are standards here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the psychic chicken. Ah, oh, yes. Hello, manners. Manners. Right. Uh, first off, that was a thrilling bit of nonsense from Terms Off. I want it. Oh, Terms Off. It sounded a bit like me. I think he's copying my stylings. Una asks me this week, the Quips Jump, how comes my only wing looks like Jake Yap? <sighs> oh, my days. <laughs> how comes you have to go all straight in or giving it all deconstructive comedy nonsense? Yeah? Why can't we just have a nice, fanciful, whimsical character, what we all believe in for a minute, instead of giving it all postmodern whatever? I don't go around going all like, oh gosh, your mum looks a lot better since she had you removed. Oh. <laughs> on to the predictions. <laughs> Hang on, get the music off. Is the music on? Is it on? Yeah. Ignore, ignore what's happening now, because I've put my script on the wrong side, yeah? <laughs> Relax. It is a bit deconstructive sometimes. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> spirits! Spirits, hear me in that. Come through. Don't do what you did last time to the curtains. My prediction, right, is that Rylan, who goes all like, Oh, no, don't worry. I'm having a job. I'm having a He's a joke. He might go. How do you know this psychic chicken I hear you cry? Because, yeah, number one, the spirits never lie. Also, number two, because, yeah, I've got a system. I looked on Wikipedia, yeah, and last year, Johnny Robinson went out in week five, and he was a hilarious camp novelty act LARPs, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Jordan likes him, so he might LARPs another week or something, yeah. So for real now, because people were like, ah, oh, you never make predictions. Ah, oh, you're not really a psychic chicken. Ah, oh, you're not really a chicken. Let's not deconstruct it anymore. Here's my predictions, yeah? So I made, made some predictions, right? So look, I'm, no, no lie, yeah? No, I see my face is in it a little bit. No lie, right? No lie, I wrote this down before I learned about Lucy Spragan. Lucy Spragan was number one on my list to go. Gosh, then it's gonna be Jermaine. Then it's gonna be Kai Soans. Then it's going to be, you can read it, I don't really know why I'm bothering with this, to be honest with you. Then it's going to be District 3, Union J, Ella Henderson, Christopher Maloney and James Arthur. Yes, James Arthur's going to win. I hope you're pleased with yourself for that. There, now tell me I'm not a psychic chicken. To be honest, I'm just sort of hoping you're just going to forget everything I said by next week. If though, if I am right next week, if you're watching now, which you must be if you can hear me saying this, you owe me £10. By continuing to view hashtag Yap Factor, you are agreeing to my terms, manners. <laughs> That's all like internet stuff. You can do that on the internet. You can do that. If you're watching, you are agreeing to pay me £10 if I'm right next week, manners. Join me next time for more deconstructive comedy. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall? Nah, too easy. Building a fifth and sixth walls and setting them on fire. Yes. Anyway, text me now, text me now. <laughs> Hashtag psychic chicken or at yap factor. Boom. Goodness gracious me. Uh, uh, terrible. Ter <laughs> no, not, I mean, well, yes, terrible. Uh, listen, I have awful news. Uh, if you're playing X Factor Bingo at home, uh, Yap Factor Bingo, in fact, uh, well, you know, you should, because uh, genuinely, no word of a lie, we've apparently got signed photos of JLS and One Direction to give away. Woo! Woo! It's a bit of a delay on the woo. It was almost as if, A, you already knew that, and B, you didn't even care. Shame on you. Shame on, no, genuinely, apparently, um, someone, I, I shudder to think what she did to get these. Um, <laughs> Well, she probably just went, can you sign this photo? Uh, if I know them. Uh, so uh, you can win those. If you get a line on your bingo before I get a line on my bingo, and if you're the first to tweet a picture of it, uh, you can win these. Sadly, though, I don't think it's going to be this week because, because I think I've beat you. I beat you. I beat you good. Uh, on my uh, bingo card, I had camp, which was for Ryland. Uh, audience booing, well, we just heard that. Louis looks confused, well, that's most of the time. <laughs> Guy Liner, we had that with Kai. And hang on a minute, what's this here? Nicole makes up a word. How amazing. 
That's completely amazing. Yeah. Hello. My name is Timmy Crumble and I come from Shitlinthorpe in Yorkshire. Look it up. And I love to sing. Things haven't been going so well just lately for me and my family. Bonfire night has some very happy memories for me. Like having a big bonfire of our last remaining furniture when we were evicted and <laughs> wrapping up hedgehogs in tin foil. We couldn't afford sparklers, so instead, Dad dipped some breadsticks in petrol. <laughs> Dad's in heaven now. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the sparklers. Some blokes came round from the betting shop and kicked him to death. <laughs> Laughs are on the way, folks. <laughs> anyway, this year, we're gonna have a wonderful bonfire night. We're being extra careful. We won't put the fireworks in a biscuit tin like a couple of years ago. Uncle Charlie thought that they were bourbons and ate them all. I don't know what he'd been drinking. He muttered something about heartburn and said he was just nipping outside for a fag. <laughs> Charlie's up there in the sky now. At least he was when the rocket burst out of his stomach, pulling a charred ribbon of intestine 200 feet into the air. It's lovely to watch, but it was a little bit sad. If there's anything you'd like to know about my life, do get in touch, it's hashtag Yap Factor, but please don't ask about the time when my grandma went apple bobbing by the Thames Barrier. Thank you. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we, lads, we're all lads in here tonight, yeah, brilliant. I love sport. Do you love sport? I love, so I love sport, I love it. All what sport I love. Hey! This is the best I could do with Lucy Sprague, and I'm sorry. It's not, you know, it's not, it's, well, it's what you would have wanted. Um, now, uh, before we go, something we like to do around about this time each week, uh, just to pass time, really, uh, is talk about Peter Dixon. He's the guy who does the voiceovers for the App Factor. And uh, you sort of think uh, it's the perfect voice for the X Factor. Uh, but is it really, is it really the right voice for getting through a, a normal life? Um, just wonder sort of what situations he'd find himself in where it'd be a little bit difficult, you know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so without any further ado, I thought I'd give you uh, Peter Dixon's top tips uh, for a long and healthy life. Uh, so if you're ready, here they are. Rice, press ups, sheep's milk, bagpipes, trees, polishing, brown shrimp. I don't even know what that is. Is that a thing? <laughs> Crosswords, chocolates, yomping. That is a real thing. Ejaculation. <laughs> Walnuts. Thank you very much. That was uh, Peter Dixon's uh, tips for a healthy life. Uh, quickly, let's find out how Christopher did in our vote. It's a total blend for Christopher. Doesn't really tally with the psychic chicken's predictions, which is he will be uh, the runner up, the runner up this year. Let's see, well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens tomorrow. You don't know yet. Uh, that's it for us for this week. We'll be back here next week. Someone will get blended. We know not whom. Someone's gonna end up throwing glass splinters all over a prestigious central London office. Uh, we'll be here. The Reverend Lionel Crapping will be here. The psychic chicken will be here. Timmy Crumble will be here with a sad backstory. Someone has won the bingo. I'm delighted to say well done to you. Well done. Is this our runner-up? This is our runner-up. I think second fastest to tweet in the picture of the completed bingo cart. I'm sorry, Craig Ross Martin. Uh, you got five in a row too late. Uh, you did not. You did not win the signed photo of JLSO One Direction. I don't think anyone's going to believe that we're actually serious about that because nothing else we've done has any kind of air of authenticity or authority to it. But genuinely, we've got signed photos of JLSO One Direction, and I just know how much you care. But congratulations to Zoe. Zoe fell. There she is. And not only that, she's actually had to write out her own bingo card, which is very, very sad. Perhaps she can sell uh, the signed photo of JLS or One Direction uh, and uh, you put the money towards buying a printer, something like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Zoe, congratulations. I don't know, get in touch with us or something via the thing. I don't know. At Yap Factor. Obviously, she's following us. She must be. We'll follow you back or something and we'll do yeah. a DM. Just uh, hit 500 followers. And there's 500 followers. Well done. <laughs> Do spread the word, it makes a difference. Tell all your friends about Yap Factor on CFAX and hurry back, I'm kidding, to Z-Box. Uh, same time, same place, same jokes this time next week. Bye-bye! Yeah. Woo!